Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now we are in the new year. And guess what? Today is already the 20th of January. Now, listen, don't just sit down there and say, oh, the month is running so fast. No, 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 no. See, that's why I'm taking time to teach you these things I'm teaching you. It's not about how fast or slow the year is running. It's how, how you take every word that God has given to you and begin to fulfill them. Praise God. And that's what should be your concern. Am I fulfilling the things that God wants me to fulfill? Now, I began last week. You know, we've been talking about how to start the year, how to enter the year. Now, I began last week teaching you on the things that pertain to life and godliness from 2 Peter chapter 2, 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. Now it says, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Now I want you to settle this in your heart. God has given to us everything that pertains to life and godliness. Now, when he says everything, he means everything, nothing excluded. Everything you need for a good life, he has given to you. I told you last week, when did he give them to you? Before the world began. In the day you were created, he created everything. Now, you were not created the day your parents, your mom gave birth to you. No, 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 no. You were created on the sixth day. When you read the book of Genesis, on the sixth day of creation was when God created. You say, how do I know? Yeah, because that was the day God wrote the book of life. <laughs> it is God. Oh, yeah? The book of life is not written the day you were born. Your name is not written in the book of life the day you were born. Neither is it written the day you get born again. You know, like, like some people think, it's when you come out for that altar call and say, write my name in the book of life. No, sir. No, your name is already written in the book of life. If your name is not written in the book of life, I'm sorry, there is no hope for you. Say, are there people like that? Oh yeah, there are people on earth whose names are not written. In fact, it was never written and it will never be written in the book of life. You see, sometimes you don't understand this. That's why it's till the end of the age that the book of life is going to be opened. You know why? Because every name written in there must have been born into this world. And they must have done what they were born to do in this world. Praise God. So, your name is already written in the book of life. And that day God wrote the book of life was the same day he provided everything that you will need. You say, how did he know what I need? We call him the, the one who knows the end from the beginning, right? So why are you surprised about that? Praise God. Now then, he says, everything that pertains to life and godliness, he has given to you. So what am I supposed to do? Receive it. He said, how do I receive it? Very simple. You know, you know the way I say it, it's very simple. Someone told me one time, I said, the way you say it, it's very simple, it makes it look even, you know, like it's just one simple. It is. Praise God. See, you know what? The more you walk this thing out, you know, at first it might be like, oh, it looks tough. But the more you walk it out, the more you realize that, come on, how, how, come, how come it took me this long to discover this? It, it's so simple, praise God. Now then, he says, he has given to us. Now, how did he give it to us? According to his divine power. Now, that's to tell you, he put all his energy into giving you everything that pertains to life and godliness. Did you, did you get that? Now, watch this. Now, he says, this is going to happen through the knowledge of him. Of who? Of God. See? Through the knowledge of him. Let me show you something in John chapter 17. Something very, very Amazing. Jesus was praying to God in John chapter 17. You know, this whole chapter, Jesus was praying. And then he was talking to God. And then he got to verse 3, John 17 and verse 3. This is Jesus speaking. He says, And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, 
the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Did you see that? He said, what is eternal life? The knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ. That is eternal life. Now, when we think of eternal life, we're thinking a life to live forever and ever and ever. That's just one part, one attribute of eternal life. See, when we talk about eternal life, we're talking about what, sec- what, what Peter was saying here in, in, in chapter, uh, chapter 1, Second Peter verse 3. He says, part of eternal life is being given all things that pertain to life and godliness. And then he says, it is through the knowledge of him. So the way you live or the way you assess eternal life is the way you assess all these things that God has given to you. If you don't assess it through the knowledge of God, then sorry, you won't see anything that God has given to you. There is no other way around it. So I said, first of all, you do what? You receive it. How do you receive it? You bring yourself under subjection to his words. For example, you go before the Lord and say, Father, you know, this is something you should be doing. So when, when, when you receive words like this, you know what to do? Say, Father, I come under submission to your truth. And I let it take rulership over my life. And as I open my understanding through you to see these things, I bring myself under submission to it. And let the intent of your word fill me and flow through me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. See, that's how you bring yourself under submission to God's truth. When you pray like that, do you know what you're doing? With your mouth, you have confessed the lordship of the word over your life. And do you know what that means? Automatically, the word begins to create opportunities for you to do the word. Yep. Praise God. I've got to stop here now. But see, we're going to continue tomorrow. I've got lots of interesting things from the Spirit of God to share with you this week. So don't miss any of this week's broadcast. Praise God. Have a great day. Bye-bye.